Aquarius, thanks for visiting. This is your weekly reading for February the 12th to February the 18th and I am running behind. I know I am. I'm really sorry I'm late with this but here I am. I'm doing my best and hopefully I'll get this out to you as soon as I possibly can. And as I always say, if you like this reading, please like and subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And I have shuffled as I always say again and I have everything ready so let's start your reading for lovely lovely Aquarius the first card you have your past is the Hierophant um I'm just sensing like you've been feeling like you were separated from people around you um not physically separated but separated by some sort of thoughts or opinions or something like that so it's like um you're feeling like you're outside of you know the normal ways of thinking and you know that's to me that's fine there isn't any normal I'm, I'm outside of normal anyway but that's fine I'm happy with that if you call me normal it's an insult to me but you know, it was like I'm just seeing that you know you're in conversations maybe or you're having conversations with people or listening to conversations or something like that and you just you just couldn't identify with what people were saying it was like they were speaking on in you know Mars language and you were speaking in another language Jupiter language or something it was completely foreign to you and their points of view are completely different to you and I'm seeing that you have actually grown away from you know what you used to believe in you've had this big change and maybe these people were people you grew up with or something like that but yes you're outside of what was thought of as normal by these particular people that's what I'm seeing so the next card you have your past for your past sorry is the three of wands yes um Yes, this is, I'm seeing again, you've come a long way, you've come a long way from where you were and you've come a long way to get to where you are or where you were at this time in your past but it's where you are now too. So this is about, <clears throat> again this is, excuse me, this is about your mind again because your mindset's really really changed I'm seeing, um, this is reflecting that again. Um, you have completely different views on different things and a different outlook to the one you used to have. You used to have completely different ideas about things. And yes, this could be why you're feeling separate from um, these people um, around you at this time. Yes, they could be relatives or they could be people that you've grown up with and now you're separated from them in your way ways and your views. You have a different worldview, that's what I'm seeing. Um, and yes, I'm seeing for people in a relationship as well, um, and see, you could have been opening up to your partner. There was something you needed. You were trying to talk to them. There was something you needed from your partner. Not a physical thing, but something emotional. You needed to hear something from them or you weren't getting, you wanted to feel a certain thing from them. They weren't giving you that feeling that you needed from them. That's what I'm seeing. And you're expressing this need to them. And I'm seeing you're waiting. You're waiting to hear what they had to say. That's what I'm seeing there. And I can't see what is actually going to happen or whether you're, but I'm, I am feeling this waiting. I'm feeling you've opened up to them and you're waiting for their response and you're waiting for a certain kind of response from them or something from them that you need, you feel you need from them. I hope that makes sense. That's what I'm seeing with that. Um, the last card you have your past is the High Priestess. Um, I love the High Priestess. Um, Yes, I'm, I'm seeing that maybe, maybe you could be on a higher plane spiritually from these people. Maybe not a higher plane, but a different plane. It's like maybe there was some traditional um, thing in your past, some maybe a religion. It might not be, it might be some other tradition. And you've moved away from that into a different one. But I am seeing a spiritual growth here as well. And it's an um, intellectual growth, so maybe you have a different um, worldview um, than what you used to have. I know I've said that before, but I keep on seeing this thing that you've really, really changed so much. And you know, you're know, you seeing that change and you're feeling a little bit um, growing pains. You're having growing pains because you're separating from the way you used to be. That's what I'm seeing. Um, I'm also seeing that there were some people who were, um, yes, there were some people giving you some un unwanted advice actually. And this advice went against what your instincts were telling you. You wanted to really follow your instincts. You knew where you were going. There was a separation between you and other people because you knew exactly where you were going. You were going down a certain path and then you're, you're following your instincts and you chose not to take this advice. 
And maybe someone was put out by you not doing what they were saying or something like that, but you needed to go your own way and you were going the right way, definitely. You're on the right path and you knew that you were because you were following your instincts. You felt better as you followed those instincts and that's an indication. Feeling better after you follow them is an indication you're going the right way and you knew that. That's what I'm seeing. Um, yes, the first card you have your present is the magician. Fantastic. Um, yes, I'm seeing this card as a message to you actually. Um, take action on something. I'm seeing take action, take action. Um, there's something you gave up. There's something you gave up on a while ago. This could be um, more than one thing actually, but I'm seeing one main thing and there could be some other things as well. Um, you're feeling, um, just, you're just feeling for a while that you weren't getting anywhere with this thing that you were doing and you started this but then you know you became a bit frustrated and after a while you just gave up eventually um, but yes take action on this now that's what I'm seeing this is what this magician is telling you take action I keep seeing take action any action doesn't matter what it is if you don't know where to start please just start somewhere anywhere it doesn't matter where because this is going to snowball what I'm seeing it's going to be like magic um, once you start taking one action it's going to lead to another one and another one and another one and you know the magician is the creator that's what it's going to do if you take one action it's going to create other things and better things and before you know it you're going to be a lot further than you were before that's what I'm seeing so just take some action do something and it's like you'll be shown where to go you'll be shown what to do but you need to take one action first you know maybe open an old folder with the information go back and have a look at this thing where you have you've got something somewhere in your house about this or in your office or something put away you you opened it once and you stuck it in a folder put it somewhere in a cupboard somewhere go and get it out have a look take action on this thing just start somewhere that's what i'm seeing the next card you have your present is the empress i love this beautiful beautiful card um Yes, there's so much positivity in your present, it's fantastic. I'm actually seeing, yeah, I'm seeing there's a woman actually and you feel that you need to protect this person. You need to protect this female. It might not be, it might be a younger person, it might be, because I'm not seeing a mature woman, but I am seeing a female. Um, yes, you feel you need to take care of this person and there's a vulnerability coming from this woman. Um, she doesn't she doesn't like to show her vulnerability but you know deep down that that's what she is she is vulnerable you've had a lot of ups and downs with this person i'm seeing but deep down you're always going to care for this person i see and they might not know that they might not see that you, they might not tell you that they know that but deep down they know that you do care about them that's what i'm seeing they know that you do they know that you do this is really coming through strongly. They know you care about them. Take heart about that. Um, this person might be difficult, that's what I'm seeing. Um, but they do know you care about them. Um, the last card you have your present is the King of Wands. So yes, this is also about this person that you care about. And again, I'm just seeing again, um, they've been difficult. They've been a bit difficult to deal with at times. You've had to be really flexible in the way you communicated with them. And they might have cut you off, but you keep coming back again. You can't see the bottom of this card on camera, but in the bottom of this card, in the King of Wands, there's like a lizard, but there's also lizards all the way through this, um, through this card on his cloak. It's a bit difficult to see. They're a bit small on this card, but there's a big one at the bottom. It's like a salamander, it's called, but it's a, like a lizard. And you know, with the, when you have a lizard, every time a lizard loses his tail, so someone might cut off his tail and then he grows it again. So no matter what's cut, cut off you, or no matter what happens to you, you just come back again, you grow your tail back again, and you're strong, you're stronger than a lot of people think you are. That's what I'm seeing um, with that card. And you have to be really flexible in the way you communicated with this person as well, because they can really um, throw different things at you at different times. But you do love them, you do care about them. You've had to be careful what you say around this person as well. That's this flexibility, that's what I'm seeing. Um, but you do care about this person. They know that you do. They know that you do, even if they're not saying that. Even if you're not speaking to them, even if they're not speaking to you, they have this sense that you do care about them. Even if they tell you they hate you, um, they do have that, that's what I'm seeing. So the first card you have in your future is the Nine of Wands. Um, Yes, for people in a relationship, I'm just seeing that maybe 
yes, you have been through some hurtful times with this person I'm seeing. And I hope this makes sense, but um, these things that hurt you could have come from someone around your partner, maybe. Maybe someone was interfering in your relationship, I don't know, but someone around... I'm not seeing a third party, but I'm seeing someone around your relationship, maybe um, causing some problems. And you just felt that even though it wasn't coming directly from your partner, you felt that they could have done more to maybe take your side on something. That's what I'm seeing. And, you know, at this time, I'm also seeing that you're prepared to stick with this person no matter what, which is good. You're a very, very loyal person, and that's really good. Um, but it's like, you know, you're going to be prepared to take whatever comes and just keep going with this person no matter what happens. You've been with them before. You've been hurt, and you've come back from it. That's what I'm seeing. But if this resonates, just be very careful. Just make sure you know exactly what you're getting into before you keep going. Don't give this person the impression that you'll put up with anything and, you know, they'll just, you know, you'll never leave them so they can just do anything. I'm not seeing that they're that bad. They might be, but there might be some some people in some cases that are like this because I am, this is just really coming through that they might behave badly toward you or treat you in a certain way if they know that they'll always have you no matter what. And sometimes it depends on the person. You might be some with someone who isn't like that. But I'm seeing with some people, some Aquarius people, this is the case with some of you, that you do have a person who you're very loyal to them. Just be careful you're not too loyal in the way that they think that you'll stay with them no matter what, you'll put up with anything. It's like young children or even teenagers, they behave badly with their parents, but not with other people because they know that their parent will never leave them and they feel safe and secure with them so they can treat them however they like. It's not good behaviour and their parents should, you know, tell them not to be like that or do whatever they do to stop that behaviour. But that's why they do that. They feel safe where they are. And it's good for people to feel safe, especially if you're in a relationship. But if, you, if you're the sort of person that does bad behaviour, um, it's not good for them to feel secure because then they'll feel that they can get away with anything. That's what I'm seeing. I hope that all makes sense. And I hope I hope that doesn't apply to you, but I am sensing it does apply to some people who are hearing this. The next card you have huge is the Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, I'll say that slowly, I'm too fast. The next card you have for your future. Okay, sometimes I stumble over my words, I just speak too quickly, and I've been in trouble for speaking quickly. So I'm just trying to get these messages out quickly and shortly and get to the point so that you get the messages, that's all. I'm just trying. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing that, um, yes, with the Ten of Pentacles, what I'm seeing is that you're protecting your money or you're rearranging your finances, or you're going to be at this time in your future, something like that. So it's about, you know, it's about saving for your long-term future, or maybe you're thinking about something you're saving up for at this time, but you're going to try and maximize your savings in some way. So, you know, you might be moving money around or rearranging something, or you could be, um, Maybe even taking up some extra work or an extra job or something, taking on extra hours to try and build up some savings and some finances. But you'll have this increase in finances, and it's not because I'd like to say that some money will fall on your head. I wish it would. Um, no, it's going to come from your hard work and your planning. But you are working very hard. You are planning this very slowly, and you're very wise about that. There's an old man in this car, and he's very wise, and you know, he's he's planned things for his future and then he can sit back and just relax and watch his family in front of him and that's what i'm seeing here you're you're doing this careful planning so that your future will be easier for you it's something like that um the last card you have for your future is the knight of cups so yes again i'm just seeing um, this won't resonate with everyone but it is going to resonate with some people it's the same kind of um nine of wands thing i was seeing um Yes, for people in a relationship, just be a bit careful because I'm seeing um, dreaming or wishful thinking with this card. So yes, just be careful that you're not just seeing what you want to see. You might be seeing, oh, I'm so loyal, I'm in this relationship, I'm in love with this person, we're there forever. That might be what you want to see. Now, I don't want to make you scared or alarmed, but if this does resonate with you, please keep your eyes opened. Don't just think, don't let this person think that you'll just be there forever and they can get away with everything. You might want to be there forever. That's a really noble, lovely thing to do. It's really good to be um, loyal to someone. 
but not at the expense of yourself. Don't let them just do whatever they like, thinking that they'll always have you. Okay, I hope that doesn't resonate, but I, I have a feeling it does resonate with some um, Aquarius people. So Aquarius, yes, I hope this did resonate, especially the good bits, but this is just a general reading. It won't resonate with everyone. And again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so much for watching.